I'm going to go over the steps to install an outlet on an electrical panel. I would check with my village before I did a project like this and see if there's any local codes or restrictions. And if you're unsure, consult a professional. For this project, I'm putting in a 20 amp GFCI because it's an unfinished basement. I have a 4 inch metal box, a GFCI cover. I have a 20 amp breaker that matches the electrical panel and I'm using 12 gauge wire because it's a 20 amp circuit. I have box spacers to connect the box to the electrical panel and I'm using a clamp light and also a headlamp. Turn off the main breaker before you remove the cover. A shock under the right circumstances can be deadly so you always want to do a project like this with the electricity off. When you're removing the cover, support it so it doesn't fall down and damage any of the breakers. Once the cover is removed, stay away from the main wires and also these main lugs by the main breaker. When this is off, those wires are still live. Everything here is off and this is where we're going to be adding our new breaker. For safety, you can cover the main lugs with a piece of cardboard. That way you just don't accidentally bump into it. I'm going to connect the electrical box to the service panel using the two small knockouts on the side and we're just going to break this free with a screwdriver. You can twist them out from the inside. I'm going to remove the two small knockouts on the side of the electrical box. I'm going to connect two box spacers to the electrical box and tighten it up inside. I'm going to spin this clockwise and use a slotted screwdriver to lock it in place. I'm going to slide the box spacers into the service panel and I'll connect it with two nuts. I'm going to add my new 20 amp breaker to the breaker bus bar. Now I'm going to run my wire into the box. I'm using 12 gauge wire for this 20 amp circuit. My red wire is hot, my green for ground, and white for neutral. I'm leaving six or seven inches exposed out of the box and I'm laying the wire inside the electric panel. On the GFCI, there's a line side and a load side. If you just have one group of wires, a hot, a neutral, and a ground, you're going to be connecting to the line side. So I'm going to strip about three quarters of an inch of the insulation off and wrap it clockwise around my screw terminals. Connect your hot wire to the brass screw, the side with the narrow slot, your neutral wire to the silver screw, the side with the wide slot, and your ground to the green screw. I'm going to attach my GFCI to the cover. The GFCI connects to the cover plate with a nut and a bolt. Now you can fold your wires and put the GFCI in the box. In this area, if an outlet is 36 inches or higher, you have to have the ground up. I'm going to connect my hot wire to the breaker and I'm going to strip off about a half an inch of insulation, push it in, and I'm going to tighten down that screw. For this electrical panel, I'm going to be connecting the neutral wire and the ground wire to the neutral bus bar. Each wire will go into a different slot. We're going to strip about a half an inch of insulation. Now I'm going to remove the knockout for the new breaker. I'm going to put the cover back on. turn back on the main. That's the GFCI. 